Welcome to Easy Driver, the most reliable source of automotive information on YouTube. Please like, share, comment and subscribe. In this segment, we'll continue our discussion on how the EV market is transforming thanks to lower battery costs and the intense competition among automakers. Let's get into it. Competition in the EV market The electric vehicle market is more crowded than ever, creating fierce competition that's reshaping the industry. Both established carmakers and fresh faces are battling for consumer attention, helping drive prices lower and innovation higher. For buyers, this competition is delivering more options at lower costs, making the dream of owning an EV closer to reality. Let's break down what's happening. Entry of new manufacturers In recent years, new EV brands have flooded the market, shaking up the status quo. These fresh entrants aren't just dabbling in the EV space. They're investing heavily and going straight for the top players. What does this mean for consumers? More choices, better features, and lower prices. Startups like Rivian and Lucid Motors are gaining attention, carving out niches in electric trucks and luxury EVs. They bring bold designs and unique selling points. Rivian appeals to adventurers, while Lucid focuses on premium performance and long range batteries. On the other side of the globe, Chinese manufacturers like NIO, Xpeng, and BYD are expanding internationally. These brands are known for competitive pricing without compromising innovation. In some markets, their models are already undercutting established automakers while offering similar, if not better, features. Why does the flood of new players matter? It's simple, competition forces the big names to innovate and rethink their strategies. When a sleek, tech-packed EV from a startup costs less than a model from a traditional automaker, consumers take notice, and big brands are pressured to adapt or lose market share. Pricing strategies of established brands Legacy automakers are no strangers to competition. Faced with new entries and aggressive pricing strategies, they're rethinking their game plan. Long-standing brands like Ford, GM, Volkswagen, and Toyota are now in a race to make their EVs not only desirable but also priced to compete. Traditional carmakers are finding clever ways to cut costs and pass those savings on to buyers. Scale production, with larger economies of scale, automakers can reduce the cost of EV manufacturing. Battery options, as many brands now offer standard range models with cheaper batteries like lithium iron phosphate. Even Tesla has jumped on this trend offering LFP-equipped versions of their popular Model 3. Targeted discounts, such as incentives, financing options, and price cuts, have become common tactics. GM, for instance, slashed the price of the Chevy Bolt to position it as an entry-level option. And it's not just production costs. Established brands are also leaning on their reputation and expansive dealership networks to sweeten the deal. They offer perks like bundled charging plans or extended warranties, giving buyers extra value. But this isn't just about affordability, it's about relevance. Automakers who once enjoyed dominance in the gas-powered era must now compete in an entirely different arena. With nimble startups constantly innovating, legacy companies need to prove they can keep pace without pricing themselves out of the game. For consumers, it's a win-win scenario. Every pricing adjustment means more affordable access to cutting-edge EVs government incentives and their role. One key factor driving down the cost of electric vehicles is the support from government programs. These incentives go beyond just encouraging people to adopt greener alternatives. They make EV ownership financially viable for the average buyer. By easing the upfront cost, governments are helping more consumers make the shift to electric, and it's working. Tax credits and rebates. Federal tax credits play a huge role in shrinking the price gap between EVs and gas-powered cars. In the United States, buyers can qualify for up to $7,500 in tax credits when purchasing an eligible EV. European countries also offer attractive subsidies. Germany, for instance, provides up to €9,000 for electric car purchases. In China, Generous subsidies and relaxed registration policies make EVs a clear choice in crowded urban centers. These credits make a substantial difference in affordability. For example, a $35,000 EV drops to $27,500 with a $7,500 rebate, bringing it closer to the price of an average compact car. 
In some cases, incentives can even offset the higher costs of long-range models, allowing buyers to opt for features they couldn't otherwise afford. Building the infrastructure Governments are also investing heavily in charging networks to eliminate range anxiety. Programs like the U.S. Bipartisan Infrastructure Law allocate billions to expand public charging infrastructure. A robust network not only makes EVs more practical but also eliminates the need for costly home charger installations for some buyers. By addressing these key barriers, cost, convenience, and infrastructure, government incentives are accelerating the transition to EVs. And as more buyers enter the market, economies of scale kick in, pushing prices down for everyone. The road ahead. Electric vehicles are on the brink of mass adoption. With falling battery costs, intense competition, and robust government support, the barriers to EV ownership are fading. Industry experts predict that by 2030, EVs could account for 40-50% of global new car sales. That shift will bring cleaner air, reduced carbon emissions, and a more sustainable future. As prices continue to drop and models become more diverse, the question isn't whether you own an EV, it's when. Are you ready for the ride? Please comment, like, share, and subscribe for more automotive information like this. Thank you for watching.